this is emerald my hands macaw or red shouldered macaw and she just wants to be loved stick around and we'll help you get to know why she just wants to be loved Hi, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parapolis Bond. Please be sure to get your copy on Amazon. I am also a novelist and wrote Cake by the Ocean. A fun little romance <clears throat> that lacks Paris, but you know. And today we are visiting with Emerald. People tend to think that Emerald is a cutie pie. She is the smallest of the macaws, and so she does have the feather in her cap to get to call herself a macaw while still being small and easy to handle. And Emerald, she just wants to be loved. Don't you, sweetie? Emerald is like, I think, going on 13 now, wouldn't you say? Yeah, yeah. And so as an adult, you know, she's kind of pleasant. Around here, since I have 18 species of parrots, there are parrots that demand a lot of time and attention like my Amazons, my young Mexican red-headed Amazon, or another good example is maybe like my green chick conure who flies over and wants attention. Now, Emerald can really be that way too, but generally speaking, because she's an adult, she's more mellow. Emerald can be noisy in the morning. How are you doing? She's saying, how are you doing? And sometimes, how are you doing? Sometimes in the morning I get this wah, 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 and it's not fun. That aside though, Emerald is pretty easy going. Again, I think it's because she's an adult. She, right now she's trying to kind of feed me. She doesn't regurgitate, which is how parrots feed each other, but she's, <laughs> speaking me and so basically trying to bond with me being loving because Emerald just wants to be loved. She's really a beautiful and very sweet girl but she can be a little bitey sometimes huh sweetie? Like so many parrots Emerald does have a preference and it is for women. She is fine with my husband she'll fly onto his shoulder but that's the only direction it's allowed to go. She's allowed to fly to him. He's not allowed to go pick her up. I'm allowed to pick her up. She likes me the best, and I think it's because I spend the most time around her and taking care of her. Huh, sweetie? Right? Right? I do think that parrots are partial to the person who gives them the most attention. Emerald knows some tricks. You heard her say, how are you doing earlier? Who's a Yes, how are you doing? Who's a pretty girl? That's right, Emerald. Emerald, yes. Are you showing us your pretty wings? You can see that in some ways she really, really, really wants attention. And she's always been that way. Emerald was given to us. How are you doing? Um, because the family she was with couldn't take care of her anymore. The wife was really sick. And so... Um, every now and then we'll take in a rescue, and so she's like a rescue. But Emerald is just a doll of a rescue. She is easy. Again, I'm comparing her to my Mac monsters, as I call my Mac, Mac paws. And some of my other parrots that maybe make a really big mess or have really big poops or are really loud. Emerald doesn't make a huge mess. Where are you going? Where are you going? Hi, Emerald. Good kisses. Kisses. Hi, kisses. Good girl. Um, she doesn't make a big mess. She's not too loud. Her wah wahs aside, huh? Hello, hello. And she. Uh, is easy to feed. Her poops aren't horrendous like my African greys behind me. 
They have bigger poops. Gentle, gentle, gentle. And of course, it's because she's a smaller bird. Huh, sweetie? So that means that for a medium, large-sized bird, depending on how you categorize them, she's pretty easy going. Right now, she's like, I want attention. I want attention. You're getting attention. And, you know, if I take her, for example, to my mom's house for dinner, and she's the only parrot, and she's getting all the attention, and she's getting all the attention from all the people, well, she's on cloud nine. And then she turns into this really quiet, sweet, wonderful little girl. Don't you? Yeah. Emerald um, was by herself. No, no. Be nice. Be nice. And jump. Oh, not a jump. Emerald was by herself for 11 years when she lived with her previous family. They didn't have any other pets, and so she didn't learn to relate to other pets. So now Emerald's grooming herself, and here we go. Emerald was alone for, seven, er, for 11 years, meaning that for um, 11 years there weren't other pets in her home, just humans. Unfortunately, that means that she is not really good at being a parrot when it comes to hanging out with other parrots. You'll see that she doesn't like to be with other parrots. This is unfortunate because that means that she just wants to be loved by humans, which would be fine, except it's hard to be with her and take care of her all of the time. If, on the other hand, she allowed herself to come here, step up, come here, step up, come on, come on. See, she doesn't want to go where the other parrots are. And so that's not good. No one's ever hurt her. She's never hurt anyone, which is wonderful. But she just doesn't know how to relate to birds. To me, that means she's lost her parrotness. And I think that's just heartbreaking. I think it's really important for a parrot to know how to be a parrot and know how to hang out with the other parrot. Now, with that vacuum going on, I think that's a wrap. But now you understand why Emerald just wants to be loved. And she deserves it. She's a real sweetheart. Thank you for joining me in this blissful, squawky, one more, one more, good job, <laughs> video. I'll catch you in the next feathered video.